So Nick, I don't think a lot of people had you penciled in beating Brody Dominique. No. And he comes out and tries to detach your shoulder and your neck from your body. Yeah. You weathered the storm, though, on the bar half. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I felt I shouldn't have let up an early takedown. That's just not being ready in my match. I should be I should be coming in there ready. And then I felt I, I had flexible shoulders. I felt I, I kind of get in those positions all the time with Coach Jordan and stuff. And I knew I was safe there, but I, I shouldn't be getting in those positions either. You know, you, you battled back, right? Like, I don't think a lot of people, I, you surprised him, right? Because mm -hmm. normally he welts people, yeah. right? Like, if you look at his Ironman quarterfinals, the Tucker guy from Graham, he welted the guy. Beat the guy seven to three, six takedowns, three takedowns to three escapes, right? You didn't you didn't go for that, right? You know, he, he kind of was trying to barnstorm you and overwhelm you. How are you able to weather a storm in th there in that second period and get come back and get that takedown near fall? Yeah, I know I have a good pace, and then uh, I just... I, I like being on my feet. That's where I like to be. That's my dominant position. And uh, I felt a nice little re-attack, and I took my time finishing. Uh, I kind of felt I didn't want to rush it because I kind of felt I didn't want to get into a big scramble. And I took my time, and then I got to the Turk and got my back points too, and that was, that was the big, big changing point in the match. Did you hear the back points being counted? Because I heard a one, and then I never heard anything again. Did you hear? I had no clue, so I was... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even think I had back points. Neither I, did I. I was like, I didn't know what was going yeah, on. And then I looked up, and he was holding the two. And I kind of, it was like borderline, like. Yeah, it was like, close. Yeah, so then I, I kept trying. I tried for it again because I, I still didn't think I had back points. So I was like, until I got, until the period was over. So. It's not your job to ref the match. It's your no, job to no, wrestle and yeah, win, right? Yeah, yeah. So whatever. You can't control a call. Yep. Goes your way, goes your way. Yeah. yeah. All right, what do you got to do to win a state title and challenge for a title at 144 pounds in D1 Ohio? Just keep pushing, just keep doing the things I'm doing. I feel like I've been getting better every every year, um, making big jumps, and this year it's just got to keep pushing. And uh, we got good training partners. Just keep doing what I'm doing. I'm feeling good. You're a Central Michigan guy, right? Yeah. Why Mount Pleasant, Michigan, from beautiful Lake County, Ohio? Yeah, um, took my visit there. I just had a great time with all the coaches, the wrestlers. Uh, Kind of right after I got off my visit, I told my parents, I was like, I'm going here. Cancel my visits after that. And I was like, this, this is the place where I want to be. So that's what it is. Now I think people get a better gauge on who you are after a big win like that. Yeah, yeah. They know who you are. Yep. Nick Blackburn's here, right? Yep. All right, you got sure. anything else for me? No, that's it. Thank Congrats you. on the title. Good luck to you moving forward in the state series. Thank you.